everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern, Thursday, September 20th, 2018. Um, thinking about the one thing I wanted to bring up is that tomorrow is World Peace Day, and I think it might be a good idea that uh, everybody uh, invite somebody new to the meditation. Uh, we're over 300,000 people worldwide, but we just want to continue to keep building uh, and building so we can hit that million mark and then beyond. So you might want to just see if there's anybody that you feel uh, is in the vibrational range of awareness and really wants to help the planet. Uh, and they can come into the simple meditation, so it might be something for you to ponder and think about to doing. Um, and looking at today's meditation, as it came to me, is uh, revealing the truth. Um, and Revealing the truth is basically about us sending eternal love to open up all of the locked secrets of the planet, of humanity, of all the people who are in the position of deception and manipulation and lying, revealing all of the technology that is uh, being used to uh, manipulate humanity, uh, you know, holographics, everything. And to basically pull back the veil uh, of lies so that truth can pour forth. I'm describing this to everyone. It's for you, as I talk, to start becoming more and more in tune with what our meditation is going to be about today. And you look at, and a lot of people have questions and a lot of people want to know certain things. And this to me seems to be the most loving way to peel back the deception and to reveal the truth all across the planet, in our atmosphere, in our solar system, in the universe, but to reveal it here on planet Earth so it is absolutely bright and clear for all of humanity. So revealing the truth on everything so that you, myself, everybody knows clearly what has transpired. This is an energy that we can use, our meditative eternal love, to disintegrate the deception and the things hiding the reality and the truth of all that there is that's been created to fool humanity and to keep humanity in submission. This is part of the freeing process of humanity, of the civilization, of all inhabitants of the planet. So it's, it's interesting as, and I've, and I've had a lot of um, emails that come in uh, from people, obviously, all the time. And sometimes you come across, I think that when you look at problems, okay, and, and, and lies are problems, you know, I mean, deceit and, and uh, deception, those are problems that, that the civilization here on the planet has and all the inhabitants have. Uh, it's very difficult to move forward when you don't know the truth. And remember this, that all, all of our problems, all of our problems are inventions of the mind. And those inventions of the mind are from circumstances the ego, the ego deemed undesirable. All problems are inventions of the mind and they're from circumstances the ego deemed undesirable. 
And if we understand that, there are only opportunities for higher self, soul, spirit growth. And you can kind of view the problems are really simply super highways to transport you to higher consciousness. Okay? So as I said, going with the flow, just cruising along in divine perfection. Just cruising along. And remember that about problems. They're, they're conjured by the mind and they're literally identified through the ego, deemed undesirable. So problems are inventions of the mind from circumstances the ego deemed undesirable. And they're actually really opportunities for soul growth. So if you will, go to the place where you're most comfortable and you're not going to be interrupted if you aren't already there. And relax. And experience relaxation only the way you know how to experience it. The way you feel that you can relax and create it in your heart, mind, in your mind, and relax. And breathe. Breathing is very important. It brings us to a much balanced peace within and without. So as you breathe through the nose, the nostrils, you exhale through the mouth. You want it to hold it. As you breathe in, hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. You want to let go and exhale through the mouth. You want to do this three to six times as I'm talking. And as you're doing this, as you breathe in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. You're breathing in reality of truth, understanding, compassion, caring, bliss, joy, massive amounts of riches, prosperity, abundance, wonderful health, strength. These are all being breathed in as you breathe in. You feel them saturating you. And you exhale. As you exhale, you're exhaling all of the things, and I just mentioned what problems are and how they're conjured by the mind and what they really are. And so you look at all of the things that you feel are problematic and the things that are in front of you that you usually try to ignore or don't deal with. And you face those. And as you face them, you begin to realize that they're just illusions. And you send them eternal love, you embrace them, you communicate with them, basically saying, what are you doing here? I have no need for you. And then they disappear as you walk through them. You face them always facing them, never turning away, never ignoring, but facing them. You find out how much power you truly are and what your really, really, your intensity is. So we now go into the heart center the heart mind, right where the sternum is. So you want to go in through there. As you go in through there, go deeper and deeper and deeper. As you're going deeper, you're feeling more peace. You're feeling uh, great amounts of eternal love. You come to an area where all around you and above you, 
you have this multitude of colors reflecting, glittering. You have the golden white pink light. You have the emerald green flaming light, emerald green healing flaming light. You have the purple transmuting flame. You have all this swirling around and above you. You feel literally totally at peace, and you feel you are a great eternal love. You look and you see your higher self glowing. You join your higher self. You become one. And as you do this, you begin communicating together with your higher self. And all of us are communicating with our higher selves and any higher selves that we can make contact with. So we, we join arm in arm, hand in hand, and we start to rise above the planet. As we do this, we call upon all of the light beings of love, of love and of and from eternal love to join us in this meditation. And we're talking about all the light beings from this solar system, this planet, all the planets in this solar system, all the galaxies, all the universes. And all of these light beings are of eternal love and from eternal love. They are joining us. We are feeling them come in. As we do this, we call upon the archangels, cherubim, seraphim, in fact, all of the angels who are of love and from love to join us in this meditation. And we call upon the ascended masters of love and from love to join us in this meditation. We call upon the fairies and the sprites. We call upon inner earth, hollow earth, of love, from love, to join us in this meditation. And we call upon all of the loved ones who have passed over to join us in this meditation. And all those on planet Earth who are waking to communicate with their higher selves and join us in this meditation of love and from love. We feel the circle begin to vibrate more, glow, and light up space. It turns the darkness of space into the daylight of the sun. As we go up, arm in arm, hand in hand, we see our meditative sphere holding all of our meditations. Well past the 200 mark, 222, 23. All in perpetual motion, all reflecting in this sphere of golden white pink light, emerald green healing flame light. Uh, the purple transmuting flame. We feel the great eternal love emanating from this sphere. Now we feel the rain come down on our heads, start to saturate us from head to toe, inside and out, feeling empowering and giving us a super sharp, almost x-ray vision from our heart mind and our mind's mind of revealing all of the truth on planet Earth, Gaia, that we are seeing it and we are spreading it and we are communicating to humanity of the truth and clarity on all that's been hidden. And we ask in meditation that Prime Source Creator God, Father, Mother God, come in through us and reveal the truth to humanity to all inhabitants of the planet. We're asking that the truth become mainstream, that we have no longer have to look at things hidden in the darkness. We no longer are looking at things that are manipulative, deceptive. This is a veil that is being lifted and revealing all of it in its true form. All of the negativities, all of the, un all of the tr untruths, the lies and deception, clearing away and revealing only purely the truth so that humanity can digest this, understand it, and move on. And this is the energy that we are expelling, and we see it going out in waves. 
and it has the, the emerald green healing flaming light as it waves out and, and as the rains, if you, if you ever see rains that come and come and come and come and come and sheets, and we see this wave coming across the planet and saturating all and melting away all deceptive walls, all deceptive blocks, all of the hidden secrets that have been kept from humanity are surfacing and revealing themselves so that we, as an inhabitants of this planet, can finally learn and understand where we came from, our true roots, all of the technologies we ask that they be revealed, all of the funds, the wealth of the planet, that those be revealed, that no more secrecy, that they're all released to humanity, period. That everybody takes part in this responsibility as their brothers and sisters. And that, uh, that we literally spread all of this truth, all of this awareness to all and everyone, not leaving anyone out. So I'll join you in the meditation, and I will come back to close us out.
your heart mind a sense of relief of the truth all truth is being revealed all at once not one little bit at a time but all at once it's like pulling the covers off and it's and, and seeing in its real existence the truth you feel your eternal love as that is what you're made of extend out and communicate this truth to all inhabitants of the planet. Gaia knows the truth. Now humanity will know the truth. And as you go through the day, and into the evening and into the night, you will have information that will come to you Embrace it, communicate with it, identify it, and wrap it in eternal love. A lot of you will start getting communications and messages. It will be a constant flow of the truth. See, no longer will humanity have to guess, be in the dark worry, stress, and fear, not knowing, not knowing what's under the surface of every step they take, not knowing what's in the skies, not knowing what's in the air. They will know now. As I said, that the you cannot move forward on anything until you have the truth. So, we will have the truth, and then we will move forward. And our vibrational frequency will continue to increase, and we will continue to rise. I want everybody to know that, let's see, um, 21st, 20th, uh, 20th, 20th, the 23rd, I believe, is Sunday, and I will be guest speaker on the uh, Sheldon Nidal webinar. And uh, you can literally go there, and it's the PAO website. I'm sure most of you know where it's, where it's at. You've been there. Uh, and get in on that webinar. It will be Clean, concise, lasts about an hour and a half. And we will be back here with a magnificent meditation tomorrow. A twofold meditation tomorrow. And I wish for all of you this day, through Prime Source Creator God, a great eternal love a phenomenally great health, a wonderful prosperity, great wealth, great riches, great abundance, which you are already, remember that, and, and literally vibrate at that, and peace, and joy, and bliss.